I'm going to GameStop and steal the PS5. Ha 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 ha. Hello and welcome to GameStop. How can I help you? Do you have the PS5? No, I am very sorry, but we do not have the PS5 in stock. We already sold out a long time ago and we still haven't restocked. What? That can't be. Well, Pug Oreo doesn't believe you. No, really, believe us. If we did have the PS5, we would tell you that it has been restocked. But hey, on the bright side, you can still get the Xbox Series X. We've just restocked recently. No, I am not getting the crappy Xbox Series S. Pug Oreo is going to check the back to see if there's the PS5. Hey, little boy, you are not supposed to go there. There it is, in all of its glory, the PS5. And now I am going to steal it and get out of here. Ha 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 You better try to steal the PS5. That's it, you are under arrest. This is your cell. You will be here for a very, 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 very long time. Wow, 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 how dare you steal the PS5 from games to and then got sent to jail? That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for 5, 7, 6, 3, 2, 8, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, years. Go to your room now, you worthless piece of crap. <laughs> Poco yo, come here. We have some exciting news. What is it Patton Ellie? We are going to the library to get you a new book to read, since you are going to preschool soon. What? A new book? But Poco yo doesn't want to read, reading is boring. Oh come on Poco yo, I promise you, reading will make you prepare for preschool, plus, it'll make you even smarter. No, I am not reading a stupid book. Pork Oreo doesn't want to go to the library. Well, we are going and that's final. Now hurry up and let's get in the car. Hello and welcome to Rapper City Public Library. How can I help you? We would like to check out a book, please. Okay then, show me your library card. Thank you. You can check out any book you want. Come on Poco Yo, I'm sure they have some good educational school books. Go ahead Poco Yo, choose any school appropriate book you want. No, Poco Yo is not getting a book, because they're stupid and they are for dummies. Poco Yo, watch your mouth, you are too young to say those words. Hurry up Poco Yo, just choose a simple and easy book, we don't have all day. Fine then. Then I guess Poco Yo will choose Harry Potter. Um, aren't you a little too young to be reading those books? Plus, the words are a little too hard for you to understand and read. No, Poco Yo wants Harry Potter, because I want to turn the earth into a tomato. I'm sorry Poco Yo, but you heard what Ellie said, put that book back and find something else easy and more appropriate. Fine then, I guess I'll choose Diarrhea of a Wimpy Kid, because it has the word diarrhea, and it's funny. Poco Yo, that says diary, not diarrhea. And I, am sorry, but you cannot read that book, it is too long plus it's too inappropriate for your age. No, Poco Yo is getting diarrhea of a wimpy kid, because I want to learn how to poop. Please please please, can we get it? For the last time Poco Yo, no means no, now please stop acting like a spoiled brat or else we are going home. Look Poco Yo, I found a perfectly good school appropriate book for you, and it's called The Cat in the Hat, by Dr. Seuss. It has very easy words and phrases, and they even rhyme, which is very good to help you improve your vocabulary. Oh my god, Ellie, that is such a good book, I loved Dr. Seuss, this will be perfect for Poco Yo's book. What? The Cat in the Hat? That is such a stupid book. There is no way Pocoyo is reading that piece of shit. Pocoyo, what did I just say about language? I don't want to ever hear you curse again. But Pocoyo is not reading the cat in the hat. Pocoyo wants diarrhea of a wimpy kid. Pocoyo wants the diarrhea of a wimpy kid. Pocoyo wants diarrhea of a wimpy kid. Pocoyo wants diarrhea of a wimpy kid. 
Get Puck Oyo Diarrhea of a Wimpy Kid. Get Puck Oyo Diarrhea the Puck Oyo, stop this tantrum. You are not supposed to be allowed in the library. Pocoyo, we can get the cat in the hat, or we can get nothing at all and we can go straight home. No, Pocoyo wants the diarrhea, kid but... Oh my god, get off, get off, get off, get off of me right now. You're pulling my hair. You two really need to be better parents, that's it. I am calling security. Wow, excellent job, Pocoyo. Now thanks to you. We are getting kicked out of the library. I don't fucking care. How about you all kiss my ass right now? I mean it. Kiss my ass. Kiss it. 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 Eat my fucking goddamn thick ass. Eat my ass. Oh, so none of you guys want to eat Pocoyo's ass cake. Very well then. I guess this entire library would have to eat my ass. Oh god. Here we go again. Get out of here, you stupid chair. Get out of here, you stupid books. Bye, you stupid library. Bye, 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 bye. How fucking dare you throw a big ass temper tantrum at the library, got us kicked, and then destroyed the entire library building. And thanks a lot to you, you even wrecked our car, so now we will have to fucking walk all the way back home. We probably won't make it by the time the cops arrive. And because of you, we might be on the news. You are in so deep 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 deeper than hell deep trouble young man. I'm so sorry Pat on Ellie. I didn't mean to do this. Now can we please go back to the library and get the cat in the hat? I promise I'll read it. No. Absolutely fucking not. You have destroyed the entire library and set the whole building on fire. I don't even know how the fuck you did this. First of, you pulled the old lady's hair and got her to call security. Secondly, you destroyed the bookshelves, threw the chair up the ceiling, and even destroyed our car. Again, I don't even know how you fucking became a giant, then destroyed the fucking library. But you will be in so much trouble once we get home, I won't even be surprised if we are on the news right now. Good evening everyone, and welcome to GNN News. We have some terribly bad break-in news to share with all of you. Apparently, there has been a huge incident at the Rapper City Public Library, and there is a big fire on the building. We are not sure yet on what exactly caused this, but we have some interviewers to share their story, and as well as some video footage. We will now be interviewing with our reporter, Sarah. Thanks Michael, it appears that there is a big fire at the local library. And you can see that the cops are currently investigating the scene of the incident. We are still waiting for the fire department to arrive, but while they're at it, let's interview with some of our locals who happened to experience the fire incident in the library. We have a very special guest who many of you might know from the infamous rapper offline logic gum commercial, Eric. So Eric, you mind telling us your side of the story? So. Me and this one girl heard a little boy yelling and screaming about him not getting a book that he wanted, which he then started throwing a big temper tantrum. And then he took his pants right off and went completely butt naked, then started threatening us to eat and kiss his butt, which really made us uncomfortable. And for some reason, he grew into a giant then started flipping bookshelves throwing chairs then he lit the place on fire, we had to quickly evacuate the building as soon as possible. We were so scared. Okay sir, do you remember the description of this little boy and who his parents are? Yes, it was a three-year-old looking boy who was wearing a blue jumpsuit and a blue hat, and as for the parents, I think they were a yellow duck and a pink elephant. They don't look related, but I'm sure that they were the ones responsible for this little boy who caused the fire. And to the parents of this boy, if you're watching this, 
I hope you both ground your child big time and give him intensely brutal punishments. Thank you Eric. Now with all of that explained, we also have a word from the manager of this place who also has video footage of the entire incident. Hello there, may you please state your name? Yes hello. I go by doctor whose last name is white egg some ginger nut bite ingle my mingle finger shits jack with kia jack racist homophobic gay man, and yes I run this place. And I can say that I'm severely disappointed to what happened. Okay doctor white egg some ginger nut butt bite ingle my mingle butter finger shits to gk jeeth gay uh heck racist homophobic gay man, we understand that you're upset right now. But would you mind showing us the video footage? Yes of course. I'll show it to the fucking cameraman right now so you stupid ass motherfuckers can see this shit. Here it is, now you motherfucking crackheads better watch this. So there you fucking have it, and also, Pocorio. You stupid little fucking dumbass bitch, you think you get can away with this shit? Well, Pocoyo's parents if you're watching this, you will be forced to pay a bill for 999 quadrillion 999 trillion 999 billion 999 million 999,999 dollars for the damages, and if you don't fucking pay it by the end of this motherfucking year. You will be sent to 312,378,214,000 life sentences in prison and as well as a death sentence. This has been Dr. White Egg Man Some Ginger Nut Butt Bite Ingle My Mingle Butter Finger Shits Jack With Kia Jack Racist Homophobic Gay Man. Signing off. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to fucking jump off the motherfucking Grand Canyon. Thank you for your cooperation Dr. White Egg some ginger nut butt tingle my mingle butter finger shits to GK Jeeth gay uh heck racist homophobic gay man. But wow, I feel very bad to the parents who were responsible for the child who caused this incident. But yeah, back to you Michael. Thank you very much Sarah, it appears that we have solved the case of this fire. Which was caused by a three-year-old boy wearing a blue jumpsuit and a blue hat, known as Pocoyo. And according to the manager who owned the library. To the parents of Pocoyo, you will be expected to pay a bill of 9,999,999,999,999 dollars for the damages by January of next year. If we see that you failed to pay the bill for the damages, you will be punished for a sentence of life in prison until you die. The federal court is still debating on whether if this child should be put on death row or not, and if the parents of the child should be sent to prison as well. Parents of Pocoyo, if you are watching this, please ground Pocoyo for an unrealistic amount of time. To you, we will have to pay a lot, 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 a lot of money to you that damages, which we don't and never will be able to afford the bill. And because of this, we will most likely end up in jail, and we might as well all get executed. I can't believe this shit. That is so fucking it. I'm so mad. You were so, 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 so extremely ultra big time. Grounded, 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 grounded for life. Go to your motherfucking room now, you stupid mentally challenged piece of shit. Man, Pork Oil hits his life so fucking much, there is nothing to do in this world. I just wish I could take vengeance on someone I hate. Wait a sec, this gave Pocoyo a great idea. Pocoyo hates Bluey so bloody much, he's the worst baby show character to ever exist. He doesn't deserve to get this much attention. So you know what, Pocoyo is going to grind Bluey and burn his house down as a punishment. That way, I'll show Bluey how much better my show is, and that he ain't shit. Ha 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 ha
Well if it isn't another nice and carefree beautiful day, I doubt nothing could never ruin this day. Bluey, how dare you have a better show than mine's, that's it. You're grounded, grounded forever. What, what are you talking about, I didn't even do anything. I really don't give a shit, you're grounded, and I'm going to destroy your house. <laughs> Pokoyo is the best show. Bluey is trash. Pokoyo for the win. Bluey for the lose. G R. Oh my God. Dad, it's not what it looks like. It was Pokoyo, that little spoiled troublemaker. He grounded me and destroyed our house. Hello, Pokoyo. How fucking dare you destroy our house and ground Bluey for no reason? That's it. I'm calling your parents. No, 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 no. Please don't call Pokoyo's parents. I will be so grounded big time. Well, good. Isn't that what you deserved? Hello, is this Sally, adopted mother of Pokoyo? Yes, I'm sorry to say, but your non-biological spoiled son has returned to troublemaking monkey business, and this time he grounded and destroyed Bluey's house and set it on fire. Can you please come pick him up? Thanks, goodbye. Get your ass over here right freaking now. Holy mother of fucking god. Pokoyo, what the hell were you thinking? Pokoyo, how dare you snuck out of the house to ground Bluey then destroyed his house. That was extremely disrespectful. You know that Bluey is my favorite baby show of all time. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 39 million decades. Go to bed now. Wow 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 Hey Pokoyo. Pokoyo, we are going to a foster home to adopt a new baby, and you're going to become a big brother soon. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? We're not sure yet, but we'll find out pretty soon on what baby we're going to adopt. Hello and welcome to foster care. How can I help you guys? Do you have any babies that are up for adoption? Yes, certainly Miss Talking Elephant. Let me check. I'm sure this one is in need of a new family. Congratulations, here's your new baby. Oh my goodness. She looks so beautiful. Yeah, right? She is such an angel. What shall we name her Ellie? I know, we'll call her Nina. Oh, she looks so stupid and ugly. <laughs> How dare you call your new baby sister Nina stupid? Look what you've done, Pokoyo. You made her cry. That's it. We are going home right now. No, 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 no. You call the new baby stupid. Pokoyo, how could you do that to your new adopted sister? That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded until the new Spider Man movie comes out on Disney Plus. Go to your damn room now. I'm going to kill Hank from Madness Combat, because he looks so stupid. Well, I think that's everyone. Now I just need to find Tricky. Oh no, it's Pokoyo, one of the world's most dangerous troublemakers. That's right, and I am here to kill you with this rifle. Oh, so you're just gonna come out of nowhere and kill me for no reason? That's right, now prepare to die you stupid idiot assassin. Oh yay, not if I kill you with my AK-47 first. No 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 no. Please don't kill Pokoyo, Pokoyo was just kidding. Well, you should have thought twice before you mess with Hank J. Wimbledon. Now die you spoiled piece of crap. 
There, now the authorities will find his body and he will be put to justice and get grounded by his parents. This is your cell. You will be here for a very, 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 very long time. And your parents are here to see you. Bokoyo, we heard you tried to kill Hank J. Wimbledon by using a rifle. Why would you do something so stupid like that? You know that Hank from Madness Combat is one of my favorite characters. That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded until the universe ties. Now stay here forever, you motherfucking piece of shit. Hey guys, it's me, Poco, your favorite troublemaker. And today, I'm going to make fun of a Japanese anime character. Hello, my name is Poco. What's your name? Konnichiwa. My name is Ichigo Kurosaki. Ha 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 You sound so retarded when you speak. Pokoyo can't understand shit on what you said. Hey. That was very insulting little kid. You are starting to piss me off. What was that? Pokoyo actually can't understand what you were saying. Maybe if you took more English classes you wouldn't sound like Dougie, who can only bark. Oh my god. You have pushed me to my breaking point. That sweet. I am calling your parents. Um, does anyone have an idea what the hell this man is saying? Pokoyo is so confused. Hello. Is this Pokoyo's parents? You are troublemaking son came up to me and was making fun of my speech. Can you understand what I am saying? Because this idiot didn't and breed me for it. Good. Could you please come pick him up and discipline him? Thanks. Sayonara, Pokoyo-san. Your parents are on their way now. Okay, seriously, Asian man. Pokoyo has no clue what two gibberish languages. Let's go home now. We will deal with punishments once we get home. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ, Pokoyo. How dare you make fun of a Japanese person? That was very very rude of you to treat other people of different nationalities like that. That's it. You are grounded until Pappy Anime 2012 brings back his Get Ungrounded trivia series, which is very unlikely. And for your punishment, we will sing some Japanese anime opening songs. No 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 no. Please don't make me listen to those awful anime songs. Pokoyo hates anime with a burning passion. Too bad, the creator of this video likes anime, plus we're not the ones who decide your punishments, so try to sue amazing Amir animations for that. First, we will sing the Attack on Titan opening. As for the viewers, we hope you enjoy watching Pokoyo getting tortured by being forced to listen to anime songs. If you want you can skip to the end of the video to watch Pokoyo being brutally sent to his room.
And now we will sing the Naruto Bluebird. Now, go to your room right now. Look, Oreo is going to go to the park. Hey, Poco, I find you familiar. Well, that is because you're speaking to the Mr. Beast here, and I, I am giving away free toys and video games to children. Wait. Oh my fuck. Poke Oreo can't believe he met Mr. Beast. This is really epic. Yes, anyways, Poke Oreo, did you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mr. Beast? Yes, Poke Oreo is subscribed to Mr. Beast. Then go ahead and take this PS5 and it's yours now! Wow. Poke Oreo cannot believe he is finally getting the PS5. Thank you so much, Mr. Beast. Poke Oreo won't forget you for this. You're very much welcome, Poke Oreo. Have a great day. Poke Oreo can't wait to go home and finally play the PS5. Time to open this PS5. Ha 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 What? What the hell happened? Poke Oreo is still alive. Wait a second. What happened to the PS5? Poke Oreo was about to play God of War on it. Poke Oreo, you spoiled piece of fuck. What did you do this time? Can you explain why the house just randomly blew up? Um, 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 well, you see, Pocoyo met Mr. Beast at the park, and so he gave Pocoyo the PS5. But when Pocoyo tried to turn on the PS5, it just blew up. Pocoyo is so sorry, Mom. Just go ahead and grind me. You know what, Pocoyo, I am not going to ground you. Wait, really? Pocoyo is not gonna get grounded. Nope, not this time. Yeah, Pocoyo is not gonna get grounded. Instead, I'm going to fuse with Goku, then go after instant so I can kill you. What, Goku? Pocoyo has no clue who Goku is. Oh no, not the Goku. That's right. My name is Goku! Now it's time to fuse. Now it's time to die, Pacoyo. No 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 Yes, that annoying little spoiled motherfucker is finally gone.